Hi everybody, Tank McConnell with M&M Systems. Today we're going to talk about our ice rink control system. First a little bit about ourselves. We're the controls division of M&M Refrigeration, founded back in 1991. A lot of our staff was previously with General Electric Simulation and Controls Division. We gave us a lot of military ships and military flight simulators, ground vehicles, sim uh, experience. We're proven control experience in the refrigeration industry as well, with a lot of big players picking us for their solutions. Back in the late 1990s, M&M Refrigeration started building ice rink skid packages, and we developed an ice rink control system for those skid packages. And since then, we've got over 50 systems deployed nationwide, a lot of those on our own skid packages, but then others in retrofits into places where they didn't have our refrigeration equipment but did want our controls. Our customer li list reads like a who's who of universities, private schools, public rinks. A lot of people have chosen us for their solutions. A lot in the Northeast but we're spreading out throughout the country as well. Um, our philosophy is to keep it simple with the hardware and software. We, we want to have a local, we have a local user interface out on the panel in the engine room so the operator can do things when they're there. And then we use PC Monitor Enterprise to uh, create a redundant interface that can be either across the local area network or wide area network. Gives you simultaneous uh, uh, activity to where you can do different things from different places. Um, once you do learn how to do something on the local interface and on the PC, you can transfer that back and forth because we do it in the exact same way. It's called transfer of training. It's something we picked up from our simulation days. And of course in today's world, everything has to be connected. So PC Monitor Enterprise keeps you connected through the networks, but then e an email alarm notification lets you know when there's problems, but then there's also things and we usually have to interface in with uh, building management systems as well. We do that through Modbus, RTU, or VACnet. Our hardware is microprocessor based since all industrial rated components. I can't stress this enough. This is a not this is not a repurposed HVAC system. This is a industrial refrigeration control system purposed for running the refrigeration equipment for an ice rink. All the system, all the components are easily replaceable. There's HOA switches on the outputs. Everything's individually fused. It's all UL rated. Everything is built around industrial standards. From the software standpoint, one of the coolest things we did in the very beginning was we created a facility planner for the rink. This allows you to set up your events on a calendar-based input so that you can set different times a day, different days of the week for the rink to do specific things, going primarily a good one's non-use from an energy management standpoint. That allows you to turn things off when they're, when they're not needed. Uh, we do all the alarm processing. Everything is set up so in plain languages and we call it at a glance where you, where you want to be able to walk up, see what's happening on the system without having to touch it when something goes wrong. And then we control all the other equipment associated with the, with the refrigeration system for the rink. The PC Monitor Enterprise, like I had mentioned before, this is the coolest toy on the block from an, HM, from an HMI standpoint. It's designed around all the latest Windows capabilities and takes advantage of, of all the latest stuff. It's touch screen compatible. I love walking around a facility with my uh, Surface laptop and, uh, and uh, being able to zoom and swipe and do different things on it. I mean, it really uh, is, is fantastic. It's designed for mo multiple monitors, high resolution monitors. It's set up a for everything that uh, we have come all to expect in a, in a PC-based system. So in fact, let me take you on a tour here real quick. Let me get to the right spot. There we go. So you can see here on the engine room, we can, we can pan around, we can zoom in. We've got real-time graphics showing things running. As you get closer, you get more levels of detail on things. Um, uh, then from here you can navigate down to being on the panel to do specific operations or if you double click on it you just get down to the panel at a specific level and then you can bounce around and change set points. You have multiple panels open, you can do all kinds of neat things. Then we've also got a God's eye view of the rank. This was a dual link system that we had set up. You can see they're running hockey A in that case. Uh, so um, it's got a full 
uh, gambit of reports, graph plotting, run times. You can store your documentation on here. And then, as we mentioned before, email alarm notifications. So it is a nice package for um, uh, allowing you to operate it. Um, and then, and as I said, it's redundant. So this, you've got this interface, you've got the interface on the panel. You can have multiple clients connected all at the same time. All password protected, of course, but it allows you to get in and do things from, from different locations. Because of where we came from, energy management is a key fundamental uh, built-in feature of, of our system. Everything is integrated together so we can turn stuff off if it's not needed, unload stuff if it's not needed, with a constant focus on running the least amount of stuff as possible. Brine pumps, if we're running on in-floor or infrared, we can turn them off. And of course, VFDs on condensers and brine pumps also help that out a lot and everything from the sequencer to the uh, condensers, everything we're controlling as energy efficiently as possible. And the facility planner allows us to do a lot of that too because then this allows us to set stuff up and take things and do things automatically based off the calendar. Um, when we first got started with it, I was amazed at how consistent the ice rink uh, packages were. So we created some standard controllers for a single rink and dual rink controller. And then from there, it's the baked potato French fry philosophy with options, options, options. So you can add things in if you want them, or if you don't need them, they, they can be easily optioned out. And then it's fully scalable and customizable, so we can make it do anything for any arena that we, that we need. So that's it for today. Um, please contact us if you've got any, any questions or want a more detailed demonstration of in our office, myself, or uh, John Condorotis, and up in the Federalsburg office, Todd Donahoe. Um, thank you very much for your time, and please let us know if you have any other questions.